Welcome to Coffee Time Naming. I have 10 names today that all mean yellow for your snake. I would call these gender neutral, but that's really up to you to make that decision. Um, yeah, first reptile video. Yay! I love reptiles, and I know that there's a little bit of ooh, reptiles, especially snakes, but I love the people that <laughs> keep them. I think that you're so cool. So, yeah. Go ahead and get right into it. The first one is Punzel. Punzel. It's a, uh, yeah, it's really got like this punchiness to it. Punzel. I, uh, I like the strong Z at the end. The next one is Chrysula. Chrysula. And this is a really good one as far as gender neutral goes because you've got Chris or you've got Chrissy, depending on which one you prefer, that I really feel like is an awesome short if you're a short person, but I know depending on the pet, you call them their long version or their short version or depending on how you're feeling that day. So it's kind of hard <laughs> to know if you're gonna use the short or not. But the next one is Blaine. Blaine? Yeah, it's really different. I really feel like it's got very um, Viking-esque vibes to it, Blaine. Yeah, it's a good name. The next one is Melora. Melora. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a little different. It's a, uh, I definitely feel like if I was to name an animal this, I would just shorten it down to M as a short. Or of course, if it was a girl, you could shorten it down to Laura. So yeah, Melora. It's a, uh, it feels very um, Grecian to me. <laughs> the next one is Orla. Orla. Again, I feel like this is another like. A Greek mythology sounding name. I I don't believe that it is, but it sounds like it is. It's very much got like this futuristic different vibe to it. Orla. Yeah. The next name is Maze. Maze. It's a little different. It's it's very much got this like uniqueness to it that I don't hear in a lot of names. So yeah, Maze. So the next one is a Z. I know we like Z's. The next one is Zahava. Zahava. I, uh, I think it's really different with the Z and then the V. Oh my goodness, I keep saying Z today for some reason. I'm watching YouTubers from Canada. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very different. I feel like it's very unique though. The next one is an X. The next one is Xanth. Xanth. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's different. It's very much got this like futuristic esque vibe to it. Xanth. It's different. It's uh, six letters, which I almost feel like is like the perfect length for a name. <laughs> That's very uh, just my opinion, but yeah, Xanth. The next name on my list is Sunshine. Sunshine. I definitely feel like if I met someone with a snake named this, I would respect them for forever. I have a friend that owns snakes, and she says that they are so unique in their personalities, which, as someone who's never been around one, I'm like, really? I just, I really like the thought of using such a naturey and simplistic name. So yeah, Sunshine, it's, it's cute, it's different. And the last one is Topaz. Topaz, it's a, yeah, it's it's a shorter one and I like it. It's a very much makes me think of the color yellow, Topaz, so yeah. So that's it, I hope you liked at least one of these. I hope that you will share and subscribe and comment and ring the bell for notifications if you liked this or one of my other videos, I would uh, Hope that you'd watch more, and we have a little bit of a backlog now, just a tiny bit. So, I hope that you'd stay and watch another one, and thank you for spending your time here. Bye! <laughs>